I just realised that I haven't done a favourites video in about 45 years and I'm used to doing them every single month. In my defence, I feel like I haven't got enough products to... I just I don't want to have to do like a favourites video just for the sake of doing a video. I only like doing favourites videos when I've got stuff that I'm like passionate about. So instead I thought I would just do like my current everyday makeup because I feel like I haven't done that for a while. It's obviously going to be using my current go-to's. So it's pretty much my favourites mixed in with my everyday makeup routine, mixed in with a get ready with me I guess even though I'm not going anywhere but I'm still getting ready. So basically if you want all of those things in one video you're in the right place. So if you want to just have a very chilled get ready with me, talk about some I don't know what we're going to be talking about, we'll talk about something, then subscribe if you want to, if you don't completely understand. Give the video a thumbs up as well and just keep watching. Um, I did my skincare, well it's kind of like part one, it's like my day slash morning skincare routine, I just filmed that so that is going to be my next video, I think. It should be one of my next few videos, that's why my skin is looking super fresh. Let's start doing my makeup. I bought some new brushes that I want to try. I, I wait, I can't use one of them because it's a powder blush brush, but I'm probably going to use this for bronzer, but I'm not using a powder bronzer today. So we'll use this another time. The brand is Brushworks. I have never heard of this brand, never seen them anywhere, but they were on the Beauty Bay website and they are cruelty free and vegan. I am now a lot more aware of what I'm buying. So I got the multitask brush which is this. I will take it out of the box and we can look at it properly because this is not helpful. It just looks like a dense like contour brush I guess. I don't really know. I got it for foundation. I don't know why because it's actually pretty small. I thought it was going to be bigger than that but it's not. And then like I said I got a powder blush brush which looks really nice and I'm just going to use that for bronzer. They weren't that pricey either. You know what, can't be asked opening them right now. So, makeup wise. So I've been still really lazy. I've got a bump in my t-shirt as well. Like, I think that was my hanger. Who cares? So I've been still really lazy with most of my makeup, but this is what I use when I can be asked doing my makeup. So, brows are the first way to go. My moisturiser and everything is done, my SPF is done because like I said I just did my skincare video. So I'm just going to use the Colourpop Brow Boss Gel. This is the black one. Can't wait to try the soap brows thing. I want to get, as soon as I come back in stock I want to try them. I want to try the Patrick Ta brow thing, like the brow bar, well, I don't know what it's called. Um, but it's kind of like the, the brow thing that's in a tin, I don't know because I really am into fluffy, hairy brows right now, which may sound disgusting to some people, but I'm kind of here for it, so. Okie dokie. Just gonna put a bit of lip balm on. So, I'll probably do what I always do and do a bit of the face and then do the eyes in between doing the makeup. So, Face primer. Okay. I don't want to keep saying this, but obviously these are my go-to stuff at the minute. So I've been using all of this stuff the most. So for face primer, I'm using the Revolution Hydrate face primer. This is really nice. Like I kind of forgot how good this was. It's so good. Like I really like this. It's really, really, really liquidy. It's honestly so hydrating. It's probably one of the closest or it is the closest face primer I think that I've come across to the Smashbox primerizer and I think that's why I like this so much so it's a pretty good dupe for it because it is so so similar the consistency the feel of it and like how hydrating it is for your skin as well and it's like tacky as well so I really really love this I've been using this a lot okay foundation I always, I feel like I always say this whenever I do my current makeup, but foundation I always like to switch up just because I feel like I have so many different foundations, I just want to be able to use different ones all the time. However, I've been using this 
like every single day since I tested it in the video. It's the Milani Screen Queen foundation. So if you haven't seen that video, I did a like first impressions on this and a wear test, a very short wear test, but I still did a wear test. And I really, really like it. I've been using it since, like I said, and I really like it for every day. It's like really lightweight, but still got good coverage to it. And I'm obsessed. I need scissors, but I don't, oh wait. There is one thing I hate, right? It's opening makeup brush boxes. Like the plastic is so annoying. Like not just this, but just any, they're so hard to open. Don't do this, it's very dangerous. That is so cool, I love this. Well, I don't love it, I haven't even tested it yet. Okay, I know you're supposed to wash your brushes when you first get them. But I'm just a savage and I'm disgusting, so I also can't be asked doing that. So it's very small, as we can see, and it's quite dense as well, but I feel like this will be good. I feel like this could be good for like contouring, maybe. Concealer would be really good for as well, but I feel like I just wanna use it for foundation. It's got like little grips on it. I love the colors as well, the purple and the blue obsessed with it it's applying the foundation really nicely oh this is so good for going in between your brows as well it literally fits perfectly it does take a bit longer to obviously blend out your whole face because it is a really small brush but how it's blended out the foundation is literally so nice. Like, I am obsessed. Okay, so for concealer, I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And I use Warm Beige. Then to set that, I'm going to use the Milk Blur and Set Powder. Okay, skin is looking nice and fresh. So my camera battery is flashing red, but you know what? It's fine because I have two spare batteries. So I'm ready, die on me. So moving on to the eyes. I have not worn eyeshadow to work probably since I filmed the video where I did my makeup in my back garden. So we're gonna put some effort in. We're gonna do a random eye look. I don't know what. I think because I put this t-shirt on, we'll go for something with these tones, maybe. I'm going to use the So Jaded eyeshadow palette from Colourpop. I feel like I haven't used all the shades in here yet. And I went, ooh, that's a nice shade. Maybe we'll do something with fluorite because I haven't I never used that one before. That looks like a really nice, like, mauve taupe. It's kind of cool tone. Maybe we should do, like, a cool tone look for once. I think I'm going to start off with Rose Quartz, which is that one. Just that. Maybe where shall we do a halo eye? I feel like I haven't done a halo eye in a while. Okay, I think I'm then going to go in. I'm not going to do anything like super extravagant. I'm going to use Amatrine, but it's this one here. It's got like some glitter in it, so I'm just going to like tap the brush off and just kind of tap away the glitter because I don't really want glitter, to be honest. Okay, I'm just going to go back in with that brush that I used, if I can find it. Right, I'm going to go back in with Rose Quartz and then just blend everything out. Does anyone else just think about food like an unnecessarily amount? Like, I feel like as soon as I've eaten, like, my breakfast or just one meal, I'll be, like, trying to plan, like, what I'm having for, like, dinner, you know? Like, I'm literally sat here. It's 4.15. I've just eaten banana bread. And I'm, like, planning out what I want to eat for dinner. I think I'm then going to use Jasper, which is this guy here. It's, like, a brown, but it's got, like, a purple, like, undertone to it. I'm just going to use that right in the corners just to deepen it. Okay, I'm going to take floor right now, and I think we'll just keep it simple, so it's this one. I was going to do like a whole cut crease thing, but... And then I feel like you can't use this palette without using diamond with like every look, so it's the Super Shock Shadow formula. It's basically just like glitter, like a cream glitter, so I'm just going to pop that 
just in the center. Okay. Just to finish up. So I'm just gonna use the LA Girl Glide On Liner in Forest Brown to tight line. And then I'm just gonna use my Too Faced mascara. I honestly, I feel like I've been scraping out every last drop of this. I feel like it's been like empty like it's so light like if anyone knows or like has this mascara you know how heavy this like tube is like it's so light I will get every ounce of this out every single drop is gonna go on my eyelashes Ooh. I've been addicted to this it's the cheeks out bronzer from Fenty I just finished the rest of the cream bronzer off. My battery just died, so I've just swapped it over. I feel so great. I feel very professional now that I've got two spare camera batteries. So I've been using my babies. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, these are my favorite blushes, the Burt's Bees blushes. So Toasted Cinnamon's my fave, but we also love Bare Peach, which is this one. So I think this is so broken, look at it. Uh, I think I'm going to mix them both together though actually. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We'll make a blush cocktail. Look how nice, like, look at the glow that those blushes give you. Okay, so for highlighter... Okay, so I don't wear highlight every single day if I'm being honest. I'd, I honestly, I rarely do if I'm like doing everyday makeup or just going to work or something. But let's just use some so i'm just gonna use one i haven't used in a long time actually i literally forgot i had this so this is barley from ofra really like nice like yellow gold i think if you've got fair skin i feel like this will look really nice on you as well because it's not really deep it like it's like a peachy yellow gold i think that's like the best way to describe it i don't know if you can like see the yellow on camera but it is like in person you can really see the yellow I feel like on really fair skin, yellow gold highlights look so nice. Okay, so we're just gonna do lips now. Have I done everything else? Okay, so I need to sharpen this. So I'm gonna use my Cafe Lip Liner, my favorite lip liner ever. Look how small she is. Okay, like look how nice that is as a lip liner. This is the one to top it off, NYX London. The ultimate peachy brownie nude. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's not too brown. It's not too pink. This is the tone I just crave in life. I think we're done here. Okay, so I hope we enjoyed this little get ready with me of my everyday makeup. But it's not really my everyday makeup. This was basically another excuse to just do a get ready with me because I don't know why they're just like my favorite videos just sitting down and just playing with shit like it's just so I hope we enjoyed this look do we like it let me know I really like the eye look that is it for the video so I hope we enjoyed it let me know what you think of this makeup look like I said and thank you so much for watching and I will see you oh my god a pigeon just flew into my window what was I saying? Oh, I will see you in my next video. I hope that pigeon's okay. Oh my god. It's just flown away. Oh my god. Just causing casualties here.